Lately I've been spending a lot of mental energy trying to keep it all together, you know, turning this keyboard into a farm, so let me know which animals you want to see on the farm. Making videos is the only reason why I have many mental strength left. I don't know how to explain to my professors that the only thing keeping me afloat is tiny. The newest member of our keyboard farm family is going to be a cat. So while I was filming this, I completely blanked out and forgot what a cat looked like, so this is just a guesstimation. And I didn't realize this until after, but like, caps lock, cats lock, that's kind of funny. Like, look at us, we're so fun. The next member of our keyboard farm is a horse, and I just wanted to say that if you were a horse girl in like high school or even early middle school, and I ever made fun of you, I am so sorry. I was just jealous that your hobby could pay my rent for a year. The newest animal on my keyboard farm is a chicken. We love chickens. Did anyone else's mom have like a chicken phase? It's like a phase where they buy chickens because they realize they can. And then chickens were actually really fun to have around, but then she realized how much work they were. And I think we like ate them. All right, guys. So the next animal entering our keyboard farm is a bunny. Okay, guys. So my desk is pretty messy, but don't judge me. Look at all this stuff. Good thing is my desk is the kind of messy where you like know where everything is. So it's not messy, messy. The next animal going on the keyboard farm are pigs. Multiple. I remember for like one or two years, it was trendy to have pigs as pets. Why did people do Seriously, if you pay attention, look at a pig for more than three seconds, you will realize that they're kind of scary. Like something is a bit- the Next animal on my keyboard farm is a fish. So question of the day, you know how like fish are really hard to take care of? How come they're perfectly fine in like toxic sewage water, but if I put more salt in their tank than usual, they freak? Oh, but seriously, would your pet ever survive in the wild? Alright guys, the next thing we're adding to our keyboard farm is a tractor. I'm like an hour into filming this video and I realized it, I didn't even make a tractor, but it has the same vibe as a tractor, so I just googled what a tractor looks like and apparently I did make one, ignore it. Okay, so the next member of our keyboard farm is a crow. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but please use your inside voices. Remember guys, no yelling in the comments, okay? This is not the space to like fight about stuff. So the next animal going on our keyboard farm is a okay, goat. Okay, so at a lot of farms, I see people with goats, but in the States, what do you guys use them for? I'm confused. It's so funny when you go to petting zoos and little kids think goats are friendly and then they get attacked. It's like, you should have known. So apparently I made a skid steer instead of a tractor. I apologize. My only reference for tractors was from cars. So once again, I apologize to the tractor community. Thanks for educating. But I hope we can come together now and hate on electric scooters because those are the All Right. So the next animal going on our keyboard farm is a llama. In popular opinion, but I've never heard of a llama doing anything bad ever. Like you can ride them apparently. Like, okay, but new business idea. Instead of Uber, you get picked up by llamas and they have snacks and they're a lot of people have been asking, how would you even use this keyboard if you had to? And the answer is, I didn't plan on ever actually using it. I just thought it would look cool. And honestly, I don't even actually type out any of my papers anymore. It just takes way next animal going on at my keyboard farm is a sheep. And sheep are really interesting to me because it's like, how do you look at an animal and decide, I want to wear that? Like, we could have picked dogs. I'm not saying we should start. The next animal going on our keyboard farm is an alpaca. First of all, thank you for asking nicely. And I already had one made because I didn't know the difference between an alpaca and a llama. Technically, like, what's different about them? They look so similar, even when I was- This has been highly requested, but today I'm adding a dog to the keyboard farm. I'm still waiting for the dog to print. Let's go check on it. Ooh. So right now, it's 37% done. Paint mixing pause. Okay, so now we yellow. Now blue. Also, have you ever noticed that the only people who are mean to dogs are people that are mean to other people? Like, I've never met a nice person that does- While I was adding a scarecrow to my keyboard farm, a lot of things went wrong, and there was literally nothing I could do oh, about it. Oh, quick update. The scarecrow is not working out. We're gonna try something else. I had to get extra creative, and I figured out that I could make it look like this. So today we're adding a farmer to our keyboard farm. So far, and nothing I is going right. So whatever you thought it was going to look like, lower your expectations. So quick update, I got a canvas notification in the middle of making this. So I just knew the vibes were off from the start. So today I'm adding a real tractor to the keyboard farm. Finally. Okay, you guys can stop sending me pictures of tractors. I get it. It's gotten very... But honestly, send me whatever you want. Like, send me your favorite meme. Like, what you ate for dinner. But... Next animal going on the keyboard farm is a frog. So like you said, there will be consequences. Like, what are they? I'm very afraid of every single one of you guys. So. Not even sure if frogs belong on farms, but I was fearful for my life, so I had to make I was just thinking about it, and why can't people live in windmills? Like, they seem like the perfect home, they have so much space, and you could have, like, six floors, which would be awesome. And on top of that, free electricity? Like, I understand birds might crash into your house, like, every once in a while, but you would never have to pay for an electric- well, I completely agree, the keyboard farm definitely needs more plants, like, I haven't added any yet, so let me know which ones you guys want to see. But I found out that the glue I use in pretty much every video might have toxic chemicals in it, so 
Alright guys, so the next plant we're adding to the keyboard farm is a mushroom, and I can understand it's not a plant, you guys don't have to attack me for it. Last time I said that, mushroom people attacked me in my comments, and it was very annoying. Like, I get it guys, it's a fungus, everyone knows that, but... So the next thing we're adding to our keyboard farm is corn. Okay, so I just thought about, like, that movie, Children of the Corn, and how the whole time they let someone that looks like this tell them what to do. Watch that movie, the only thing I could think about is how non-threatening all the kids were, like, they were just... Have you have asked me if I can actually use this keyboard, and the answer is yes, it works, you can plug it in and everything, but it would be pretty pointless, this is just made because I think it looks cool, that's pretty- okay, So I think Gorilla Glue might be toxic, like look at all that white stuff, that's residue from the glue dry. Okay, so this is the glue I'm using, just regular Gorilla Glue, I have no clue if this thing is good for me or not, but we'll- I'm just confused because of the package, it doesn't mention anything about like staying away from it or not breathing it in, but clearly it's not good for you if it's- Alright guys, welcome back to my keyboard farm, today we are adding sunflowers, and my question is, for the person who discovered that you can eat sunflower seeds, I appreciate your work and what you've done for humanity, but why? What is the purpose in eating a seed? Okay fine, I'll add an owl to the keyboard farm, but just remember that you can actually buy owls as pets, I remember once on Craigslist someone was selling them, I really don't know why you would get one, they just seem like flying cats, like they have that same energy, they're just just a progress update of the keyboard farm, so I still have to add the barn, which will be the space bar, and then from there I want to take out all the little keys in between that don't really match and paint the green, and then after that I have to paint the outside green just so everything like matches and it doesn't look Guys, it's finally happening. I decided to paint the keyboard green. It's too late to do anything about it now, so if you don't think it looks good, please, like, you can tell me, but just be nice about it, because I've spent way too much time on this, and it's kind of depressing now. It's Tomorrow, I'll be completely done with the keyboard farm, and I did not expect it to take this long, but it was really fun to make, so I don't really care that much. Just let me know what you guys think the space bar should be, because that's the last piece I have to do, and I want to make it something that's actually kind of cool. I'm thinking a barn. You guys can drop your suggestions below. Today, I'm adding the last piece to the keyboard farm, which is a barn for the space bar. And I just realized how I can tag you guys in my videos if you want to see them again. If you go to the comment section and you like a comment and I make a response to that video, you'll automatically get a notification when I post another video, which I think is pretty cool. Also, if you see a video on your For You page that you think is funny and I would like, please feel free to tag me in it. I know other people get annoyed when you do that, but I think it's pretty funny and I usually respond like we're best friends and it's the greatest thing ever. So